Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Lang and I'm the principal at Mount Taylor Elementary School, a school in the Grant Cibola County School Districts. Our school has about 440 children in it and it's part of a district with over 3,400 students in our district. Hello there, my name is Lane Widener. I am the principal of Grants High School in the Grants Cibola County School District of New Mexico. Grants High School is the home of the Pirates. We have 865 students in our school who range from different communities. They come to us from all over our district. We have students that live on Pueblos. We have students that live in small villages. We have students that live on land grant land. We have a very diverse population at Grants High School. Hi, I'm Candy Salazar. I'm the counselor at Mount Taylor Elementary and for Grants Bullet County Schools in Grants, New Mexico. Hi, I'm Yvonne Lopez. I'm the instructional coach at Mount Taylor Elementary, Grants Bullet County Schools. So, um, Mount Taylor Elementary is a pre-K through sixth grade school. We have a multicultural students. Um, we currently have for about 429 students enrolled. Uh, we have in Mount Taylor Elementary four teachers who are part of Jobs Connect USA. They've come to us as a result of our um, search for teachers and the active work of Jobs Connect USA to provide schools with highly qualified candidates and to help us with the uh, references and the referrals that it takes to place teachers in our schools. Currently, we have four teachers who are part of our staff, part of our family at Grants High School. They are teachers who come to us from Jobs Connect USA. Our four teachers are very strong. There are four. There is Dr. Gutierrez, Mr. Cabling, Ms. Amper, and Mrs. Passamonte. They are strong in teaching science and mathematics. We currently have four JUC staff members working with us. Um, two of them have been with us for about a year and a half now, and the other ones just started in August. Two, um, let's see, we have a Kinder First special education teacher. We have a 2-3 special education teacher and we have one teaching regular ed kinder and the last one is teaching fifth and sixth grade special education students. The four teachers that we have in our school have proven to be outstanding teachers. We have three teachers here who are working in our special ed department as resource teachers. One who works with kindergarten and first graders, another who works with our second and third grade students, and a third addition we added just this year who serves our fourth or our fifth and our sixth grade students. Each of these teachers brings something special to our students, to our school community, and to our collegial team. They each take the time to do what's best for our kids. Um, in looking at their teaching this year with us being a virtual school, they are working hard to create Google Classrooms. They are working to create atmospheres where the kids feel safe, they feel welcome, um, they feel like they are participating even though they're, they're participating from home. These teachers are really going the extra mile to to bring the kids into the school and to make them feel welcomed. I had the opportunity to work overseas when I was younger. I lived in Germany and Bahrain and I understand what it is to come someplace where you don't know a soul and you just make yourself fit in. These ladies have, um, they're really good with each other. You see how they bond with each other right away. Um, but they've made themselves available at school. I feel good because I think I've made them comfortable enough. They'll come and talk to me when they need support. And I see them in church sometimes. <laughs> Out of our four teachers, they have brought a ba great deal of experience to the school. They have a lot of technology information that they have brought with them that they have shared with the schools. Um, what's nice about that is we are now 100% virtual at this moment, so them having that knowledge and willing to differentiate to meet the needs of the students has been very good. 
Right. They've helped out teachers that have been here for years. Um, they help each other out, especially with the technology can be such an issue. To have this cultural exchange in our school is very important to both the teachers and the students. Um, our student population is very diverse in grants. Nearly half of our students identify t with a tribal affiliation. Uh, very many Laguna, Akama students, Navajo students, uh, Zuni students, and other tribal affiliations. And so we appreciate having people who bring a diverse cultural background to our classrooms. I believe that having teachers from Jobs Connect USA and having our teachers bring a unique cultural experience makes our community more diverse. As I mentioned a moment ago, our kids come from all different backgrounds. They come from different, different cultures. They come from different experiences. And having having this group of teachers bring their cultures and their background experience and their life experience just benefits our school overall. I think the cultural exchange is great, having people from a different culture. Our students, and I think I've learned this when I've lived different places, here in New Mexico, um, you were, we're just so used to what we have. We have a lot of Native Americans in our area and a lot of Hispanics but you don't see very many other cultures and I think it's really good for kids to be able to see that there are other cultures out there and to have that experience with their teachers. The experience working with the, JU, the JCU teachers has been very awesome. Um, it's been a nice experience. This is not the first time I've worked with JCU teachers because I've been in the district 26 years. So I've worked with others, but the four that we currently have in this facility with us now has been awesome. Same here. Um, the first experience I had with a JCU teacher was my son's, um, I think he taught calculus. Mr. Martin taught calculus to him at the high school, and now he's moved up and he's a director for the district. He's come a long way. He's been in the community for years yeah. now, and I think he's helpful to these ladies as well. Um, I think that's a really good thing. But just the professionalism is awesome. They're always there trying to do the very, very best that they can. In working with Jobs Connect USA, it was a great experience. They have top-notch candidates, excellent teachers who come and are ready to teach and grow kids. When I needed to add two teachers this year, I was able to get the applicants' names their resumes, uh, a portfolio of their work, and to be able to contact all the references with the assistance of Jobs Connect USA. It was uh, a very good experience and we are really happy with the people that we've been connected to through Jobs Connect USA. Um, both of the candidates who interviewed with us this year were hired, they're placed in our school and they're doing an outstanding job.